Hello and welcome to the Ritual Misery Program. This is episode 240 what? 2. 242. Episode 242 for Thursday the... 20th of February. 20th of February 2020. <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's 2022020. Oh, um, I'm going to kill this music. Uh, that's a lot of twos. And zeros. Yeah. Uh, I mean, if you put the if you put the the imaginary zero before the month, yeah. So like you know, in a date format, like the old school military format of old the, old school military, no, just the this this date format everyone should fucking use two zero two zero zero two two zero. That's right. Yes. 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 Year, month. I want, what is that e- two zero two zero zero two two zero? What is that equal in trinary? Trinary or yeah, a trinary. Um, uh, mm, yep. I can uh, barely do no. math on binary. There's no fucking way I'm doing trinary, but I know it's number in trinary, and so much you like figure that seven. out. It's probably like seven. I don't know. <sighs> no, have... Let's see. Be zero. Be f- three. Plus, um, plus three threes. So no, yeah, it'd be three plus three threes. So it's twelve. Uh, shit, it'd be. It's it's, it's probably like one hundred and ninety-two. It's, it's uh no more than two. Yeah, no more than two. <laughs> no more than two. Um, yeah. So ritual misery. Yeah, um, uh, so crazy week. We didn't do a show last week because my internet was jacked up, which is all my fault. Uh, I'll go ahead and blame myself for that. I had to do a complete network reset after I came back from Tacoma and come to find out that, oh, by the way, when you turn everything off, it's important to turn all that shit back on. So the reason my signal was so fucking poor last week down here in my office is because the switch that powers all the LAN ports in the entire house was still powered off. So... So my my route my mesh was going by Wi-Fi from my garage to the basement on the opposite side of the house and then going wired to my computer. Okay. The the wired backhaul that I have installed to the main router was turned off. So that's why my internet was so shitty. Wow. I wouldn't have joined you last week anyway. No, because you were you were you were having a sick week. Yeah, I I, I had coronavirus probably. Oh. I mean, that's what I call when I'm hungover. I mean, it was bad. I So I started feeling bad on Saturday night. Mm-hmm. Sunday, I did not get out of bed. Well, okay, that's almost true. I, I got out of bed twice to piss. That that was the only time my head left the pillow all day Sunday. I was barely out of bed Monday. Um, I was starting to move around a little bit on Tuesday. And then I finally felt well enough to go back to work on Wednesday afternoon. Uh, and that was barely, that was like, okay, I'm not, you know, I don't have a pounding headache anymore. I'm not in cold sweats. Um, I'm going to try this work thing and that sucked, but I did it and then I did it again on Thursday and I hated life. Now, um, now it's all you had for the day. Yeah. I started feeling well this, uh, last weekend. So I'm, I'm probably about 95%. Yeah. I still got a, a, just a slight sniffle. Uh, well, but it, 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 it's funny how you how bugs go in like these little cycles, right? You like you got the you got the afternoon headache, you got the twenty four hour bug where you just for one day you just feel like shit for no reason. Right. You got the three day that's just off for three days, like you're just not feeling good for three days, but it's never like crippling. And then you've got the crippling fucking week. And then you've got like the the down month, you know, you just kind of had just a month where shit just, and then like you get cancer and it's a year or more long. Like, you know, that, that that's kind of like the degrees. It's it's not really, you, you can tell how sick a person is by how long it took them to recover. If it only took them a day, no, they were fucking done. If it took an afternoon, it was an inconvenience. Three days, eh, they're all right. A week, they were fucking done. A month, eh, more than a year, toast. Like that was, 
you know, and I'm sure there's one in the in between toast and like there, there's like a five year one, right? That, where you just like kind of on a slump, like you go through bankruptcy or some shit, and it just your whole life is just kind of in the shit for a little bit, and then it comes up and you're fucking cheery again. And then there's like perma perma sick perma death perma death. Yes. Yeah, perma as in death. <laughs> That's an interesting scale um, from from uh, sniffles to perma death. Yeah, I mean. It's a, it's a, I think, I think, is that a logarithmic scale or the sliding scale or some shit like that? I don't know. Try, try, what, what did you call it? Try lingual? No. Try, what were we talking about? <laughs> try, <laughs> trinary. Yes. That's a word that I never heard before today. Jesus. I, I need, <laughs> I need you to get your nerd on, dude. Well, speaking of getting my nerd on, uh, I finally watched Umbrella Academy on Netflix. Have you seen that? Uh, I've heard it's good. I enjoyed it quite a bit. I yeah. don't know why it took me a year to watch it, um, but I I liked it a lot. It is super super quirky and just stylized and weird and right up my alley. Nice. I really dug the story. I dug the characters. Uh, the, the style was was uh, right up my alley. I, I really enjoyed it, and I I'm I'm giving a, a two thumbs up recommendation on it. Nice, very good. Uh, we lost the movie draft. Nope. I don't have the stinger, do you? Um uh, nope, not available. Uh but it doesn't matter because uh, burn, 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 burn. Burn. changed in weeks. Right. Uh, we are very, very firmly in third place. And in seventh overall, which is really a downer because we only missed sixth overall between the two leagues by like five million dollars. And then we missed like it, it gets incremental after that. We missed we missed six by like $5 million. We missed fifth by like $15 million. Then we missed fourth by like 25, like each time it just increases. But we, in the grand scale of things, we were a movie away from being in second place. <laughs> yeah. Well, we only got three movies during the draft. I know. <laughs> we had one way underperform from our projections. And then our opponents had some, some overperforming. Mostly DKG ha- got all the overperformers. Yeah, yeah. No, like no, that's no, really what it came out to. Joker took all the money. Yeah, I don't think. Well, not ju- just all their movies, man. Like I don't think they had any movies that didn't at least meet expectations. Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So that's yeah. what you got to do. You got to you got to have that that ear to the to the floor of consciousness. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to next season, <laughs> which is, which should be like any day now, right? <laughs> yeah, we should be hearing something <laughs> soon. So. We'll probably have the draft within the next few weeks. We'll so. probably have the draft while we're at South by. Probably. That's fine. <laughs> we'll figure it out. We'll make that. Um, yeah, man. Um, Is it time for a stinger? Patreon.com slash ritual misery. Oh, yeah. Uh, Speaking of South by, man, um, South, South by is being partially funded by our patrons. And uh, yes, uh, that's a, Big, that's big. That is huge. And um, South by is something that we started doing about five years ago. I think. Mm. It's kind of like a ritual misery, um, almost a business trip, right? Get the word out about the show and yeah, and make it with diamond clubbers and um, have it generally good time, but also spread the good word that it is ritual misery. And um, more and more, the last <laughs> couple of years, it's been funded by the patron it, it it really sounds like we're going door to door at south by proselytizing about our podcast which is literally what we did one year <laughs> that <is> true. <laughs> we handed out so many business cards it was like that's actually that's how we met the lienzo folks yeah we 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 handed out over 300 business cards in one weekend and we Probably ended up just one viewer <laughs> one 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 viewer not listener not a regular not a subscriber just one viewer they probably watched it on youtube one time like oh fuck this <laughs> they didn't even, they didn't even get through the intro music they're like what i i'm not here to watch porn <laughs> right yes everybody burnt, burnt, burnt. Burnt. yep um but yeah it, it it did give it that first year did introduce us to Lienzo, and that we had them on what three times i think now yeah um so great guys uh yep. played mulaka a bunch yep yep great game studio and um yeah, we'll have to... Adolfo's no longer at Lienzo, though, so... That's correct. Like, we yeah. got to figure out what he's doing and get him on here to talk about his next thing, because I love that dude. He is yeah. so much fun. 
He he's he's the guy that can eat a candy bar and like tell you give you a five thousand word essay on how awesome the candy bar was. That is true. Like that is true. that's why he's like the he was the, uh, the, the PR publicist. guy. Yeah. Yeah. So that makes that makes perfect sense. Yep, he's amazing. Um, I got a game for you, man. Okay, cool. Now you've got a guess. Play with him, play with him, play with him. Holy God, that's loud in my ears. I could barely hear it on my end. <sighs> we got we to figure this shit out. Um, so we've been going through the uh, the tagline of the show. Uh, we did uh, what? We did geeks. We did friends. We did. Um, uh, it's geek veterans. friends, geeks, parents, nerds, gamers. Uh, yeah, friends, geeks, veterans, parents, nerds, gamers. Yeah, so it's time for parents. Oh, we talked a little bit about uh, some parenting stuff, um, but I'm going to start us off with a game. Um, Real and- quick, I had an amazing story about Autumn and Evelyn last week, and we didn't do a show, and now I forgot what the story was. Well, maybe you'll think of it as we as we go through uh, this quiz together, because I do not know the answers to any of these questions. Oh, oh, I love these! I love these! I love these! So I'm going to ask the questions to you. Mm-hmm. And- chance to answer and then i'll either concur or um or defer or or um, um just come up with my own answer uh so we'll see how this goes i call it gen z wtf mm. the game is a gen z vocabulary test oh so half the time that now, my now son gen, Isaac, gen z is by definition Oh, po- you're asking me. They're post post millennials, correct? So it would be, be two thousand and later. So it's our kids now, like the kids yes. that are still kids. Because like, we didn't like, have kids in the Y generation, the millennials. We didn't have those. Yeah, Lucas. I mean, depending on which. But well, he's ninety nine. But usually the millennials start at ninety six. Right. Yeah. 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 So right. in the most uh, broad definition of millennial, Lucas. Just barely makes the cut. And Amber uh, was born April two thousand, so yeah, you know that's. So, but she's so really favorite? she's really more of a a Gen Zer than a millennial, anyway. Yeah. So my my son Isaac is very much Gen Z, and um, I'm I'm really curious to see how my vocabulary does because he has taught me words like yeet, uh, which uh, that was interesting series of conversations <laughs> um, so i'm real curious to see how we do i, I uh, half the time i don't understand what he and his friends are talking about right um so i don't know so let's let's just jump right into it okay um let me actually let me, let me turn on my sound my sounders here here we go okay i bet those so are gonna the, be loud in my ear too <laughs> so the first one what does t mean T E A. What does T mean? Oh, uh, sex. I've, got, I've got four choices here. Um, you, right after that, you you think it's sex. I actually know what this one is, and um, I know for sure that you're wrong because that's not one of the choices. Oh. Uh, so what what does T mean? Uh, it could be a beverage. No. Uh, something soothing, a drug, or gossip. Gossip. It is. Absolutely gossip. I know this one is correct, so let me go ahead and select it. Um, so it put a check mark on it. I don't know if that's telling me I'm correct or if it's just saying that yes, that's what you selected. <laughs> <laughs> You're correct. You did select that. So, all right. So let's just go through this. Um, we might not get our answers till the end. Oh, awesome. Okay. What are things that are straight fire? They're good. Straight like fire. it's it's the current the current haps. Okay, so our choices are dangerous, no. lies, no. things that are trendy, or things that are cool. Trendy. Trendy or uh, cool? Cool. Ooh, I'm, uh, I mean... Shit, it's straight fire, yo. Right. There's, 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 that's a, the, the, this is the Air Force quiz, because those two could both be correct. You know? Yeah, so we can eliminate dangerous and lies. Right. Those are, those are, those are dumb. So which one is more correct between trendy and cool? I'm leaning toward cool because like in my example of, of 
you know, yo, dog, that shit is straight fire. Like, I feel like yeah, like, cool as fuck. Yeah, let's go. Let's go with that. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. All right. Next one. What does? Uh, I'm guessing it's pronounced su. S u h. What does su mean? Any idea? Fellatio. They're too lazy to say their last two letters and the last okay. couple words. So, or anything even close to it. <laughs> okay. They're, they're just imagining head. <laughs> so the choices are, okay. can we pick a real word? I have no idea. Hi, like as in hello. Or what's up? Oh my God. So, it's got to be one of the last two. I, I'm betting it's what's up the because last Isaac a lot of times will just knock letters off of what he's saying. Yeah. So I think I've heard him say "suh," like instead of saying "sup." Yeah. Like you know, "sup." They're that extra p. That's just too many fucking letters. Let's it's go so, cut that. So hard. Let's flip that, that upside extra. down. Drop part of the letter and then call it a fucking day. All right. All right. So we're going with what's up. Yeah. All right. Okay. What does it mean if you skirt? S K U R T. What does it mean if you skirt? I think I know this one. I'm deferring to the multiple choice. All right. You wear a dress? No. You go to a party. Mm. You chill at you chill out at home. Yeah. Or you go away. You go away. Scurry. That's what scurry. I th- yeah, that's what I think too. Are all all of these answers the last one? Like, is this not? Are these answers not so, randomized? So far, we have chosen the fourth answer on all of them. Or maybe we're just we re- keep choosing, we keep choosing the D. <laughs> all right, uh, what does goat stand for? G O A T. Greatest of all time. Right. Yeah, and I don't. I'm, this one's confusing me because. Um, Gen Z, like I've been saying the goat, like I've been calling Michael Jordan the goat for like 20 years, if not more. Um, well, people have been saying greatest of all time, but it didn't begin to have actual prominence as goat, you know, not G O A T, but goat, like, yeah, goat they, itself raised to prominence, uh, with uh, LeBron. Uh, yeah, I think you're, I think you're accurate on that. I, I literally That's just. Like- I just saw this broken down in a way more intelligent way than I ever could not too long ago. So I'm going to go ahead and read the, the other choices. A barnyard animal. Uh, I mean. Going out at 10. Game on all times. And greatest of all time. Man, I wish, I wish game on all times was, was, was the right one. <laughs> so once again, we, we selected the D. Yeah. All right. Who is your squad? Your squad, your people. Your, your friends, your, yeah. your posse. So again, it, we're selecting the D on this posse one. Posse in uh, effect, and we're doing the do. Your you got family, your coworkers, your whole your damn crew. Your friends. Uh, definitely your friends. Yep. Okay. All right. Um, what is something if it's Gucci? Very good. Okay. So choices are awful, huge, expensive, and cool. 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 Again, the D. I think all of these... <laughs> D. If a person needs milk, what do they need? D. <laughs> do you have any idea? Have you heard this before? I have, but it's D. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, the choices are strong bones, <laughs> money, attention, or help. And you're going with help. Yep. Um, I'm selecting it just because it's the D. Because I have <laughs> no idea. Uh, what is an unsalt? Like uh, compliment. An unsalt is a compliment. Sure. Okay. Well, um, it can be a made-up word. Nope. An insult, yeah. a compliment, or a fake compliment. Oh, there you go. Fake compliment. I like it. Unsalt, fake compliment. I, I like that actually. Uh, I might actually get... start using that. Yep. I mean, we used to call it just backhanded bullshit, but um, yeah. I, I, li- I like unsalt better. <laughs> yep. Uh, what is on fleek? 
Uh, it means they're on the, on their game. It means they're at the top of their like top of their shit, man. They're they're top dog right now. Okay. Uh, the choices are a type of public transportation. <laughs> Negative. Looking good, looking fine, or looking perfect. Perfect. Okay. The D. Got it. What is Finstagram? Facebook, fin- Instagram. Okay. The choices are, or or is it fake Instagram? Like when people post only good shit, but their life is actually in the shitter. Let's give me the choices. I want to see the D. Okay. Well, I think, um, yeah, what you just said basically lines up with the D on this one. <laughs> uh, a fishing store. No. A social media account. Negative. A catfish account. Ooh. Or a fake Instagram to play around with. Again, C and D are very, very close and could be. Oh, W. Scott is one is rating our shit show with a party of four. Hell yeah. What's mid- up, Will and company? We're in the middle of playing our game. Yeah. Uh, hello, Sam and, and Kevin and, and everyone else. Okay. Um, all right. So the, the next Gen Z vocabulary word that we have. Wait, what wait. Is, wait do, we, do we actually go through that one? We did. A fake Instagram to play around with is what we determined is a Finstagram. Finstagram. Yep. Okay. All right, so uh, the next... I don't know. Like, that one could be C. I'm going to go with D just to make sure, ma- maintain the trend because I do have OCD. But I could see that one going C. Mark that one down as special because I could I could see that being C. So a possibility that it, it might be a catfish account? Oh, uh, no, that's not it either. Never mind. Go ahead. Keep going. <laughs> All right. Uh, the next one is, what is a move? Move, like M-O-V-E. What is a move? A dance? Okay. Uh, the choices are when you go somewhere for a better job. No. A type of dance. No. Something fun to do. Uh-uh. Or a big party. A big party. A big party. Okay. Yep. I have no idea on this one. But Neither I'm do I, but I'm going with the D. Because it is the D. <laughs> for those that are just joining us, because I know there's a few of you, um, Kent is quizzing us together on... Uh, Gen Z vocabulary. So this is so as we ask the a- ask and attempt to answer these questions, keep that in mind. Now, all of our answers thus far have been D, with the possible exception of the one previous to this one being maybe a C, but I doubt it. So now we're basically kind of committed to going with the D, no matter what. Uh, <laughs> just because, it the D. yeah, just because it's a D. Like you got to go with the D. Um, and now Kent, ask that question one more time for the uh, new listeners and myself, because I ever forgot what I said, and we can all play the game together. Okay. All right. Um, so moving on. Oh, wait, okay. You want me to repeat the one yeah. we just did? Yep. Okay. All right. So what is a move? No M beam. It's not dick and balls. It's the D. <laughs> all right. So our choice is for oh, a move. 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 Yeah. Move is a party. Yeah. yeah. When you go somewhere for a better job, I mean that's that's what that's what it actually is, right? A type of dance that you could, could that would be slang. Something fun to do that or, sounds close to what it could be, or a big party. A uh, big party, which is what we chose because it's the D. Yeah. All right. Um, hey, uh, just in case you're watching this live, this would be a great opportunity for you to hit that bang, which is the exclamation point. Bang S and then a, a space and then some random D because uh, this is going to be a short show and we're talking about D's a lot. So this would be your chance to get your D title in. I'm uh, I'm going to go ahead and add one. Random D. All right. Um, all right. So our next one is what is something that happens in Snapchat? Your choices are... A snap clap, a snap tramp, no, a snap hello, no, or a snap trap. Uh, I'm gonna say a snap trap. Yeah, I. Uh, yeah, trap. It, because it sounds like uh, it, it sounds similar to thirst trap, um, but I guess it's it's probably like a thirst trap that's on Snapchat. Mm. Like if you're being all like you know. Sexy or whatever on Snapchat? I, would that be a snap trap? I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll probably find out. Uh, <laughs> Curtis says, do people still lose, still use Snapchat? Uh, I've got a better question for you. Did anybody really learn how to use Snapchat in the first place? That is one social media that I've, I've never used. Fuck, I, hate, I hate Snapchat. 
I, I barely use Instagram. I have not even touched. But I'm straight hooked on the fucking TikTok, though. I got yeah. I got... keep sending me links to dumb shit on TikTok. <laughs> yes, that's that's what TikTok is. Is a bunch of dumb shit. It's hilarious. I love it. All right. So our next one is lit. What does lit mean? It means it's good. Okay. Uh, choices are to light something. No. Something that is cool. Something that is really cool. Or, or something, something that amazing. is the coolest. Yeah, yeah. Something amazing. Go with so, the yeah, D. Going with that one. Uh, not only because it's the D, but also, I mean, everybody knows Wait, it's lit. Amazing. Now, ask that question again, but this time think of it in a 70s term. In a, as, in, a 70s term? as a 70s question. Okay, so like uh, when our parents were like 20. Yeah, when our parents were, were fucking all the time and end up with us. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so what does lit mean? Um, like, yo, that that is lit. Um, I feel like that would be a drug reference. It's totally a joint reference. <laughs> yes. It's not It's not something, like, if it, like now you'd be like, man, that was lit. Today, that'd be a different, I'd be like, you snuff it out, or, like, you throw it away, and they're like, man, that was lit. Why are you throwing that away, man? Right. <laughs> or, man, you better get that thing lit. Yeah, exactly. Totally. <laughs> Same word, totally different fucking context. Okay. What is lit? Lit is the coolest, the, the whatever the D was, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, we went with something amazing. All right. So, the next one is, if you're emotional, what are you doing? Uh, choices, choices are caking. What? Faking. Huh? Baking. What? Or draking. If you're emotional, are you caking, faking, baking, or draking? Draking. Yeah, I think so. Is it, I mean, is that a reference to Drake? It is, and I hate Drake, so we're going to go with Drake. So I guess he's emotional. Um, okay. I Next get one. so emotional, baby. What are you when you need a lot of attention? Needy are bitch. You, okay, so needy is uh, the first one. <laughs> and then a drama queen. Also. Hungry. Hungry. hungry yeah. Or thirsty. Thirsty. Yeah, I'm going with thirsty. Yep. Not only is it the D, but also, like, the thirsty, like, okay, I need a lot of attention, but also I'm horny. Right. Like, that's that's thirsty, I mean, right? when do you need more attention than when you're horny? Right. Right. Like, that's when you need some definite fucking attention. <laughs> All right. Um, man, how many of these are there? There's quite a few of these. All right, so the next one is, what does A mean? A-Y. What does A mean at the end of a sentence? You're mad, you're joking, you're curious, or you're asking a question. Oh, you're asking a question. Because that's what yeah. the, that's what fucking kids will do now. They'll they'll state, they'll make a statement. They will they will they will say a statement out loud and then put a at the yeah, end like, uh, to indicate a question instead of actually fucking raising the pitch of their voice like normal English speaking humans. Right. So they'll just say like, uh, "That's a pretty good movie, eh?" Right. So kind of like um, even my like, dog raises his tone when he's got a question, you know, like fuck, uh, exactly. Yes. All right. So asking a question. <laughs> or yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're, we're we're picking. You're asking a question, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Right. Perfect. What do you call it? What do you call it when two bros really like each other? Oh, this is easy. Okay. So the choices are a bad time, creepy, brotacular, or a bromance. Bro, man. Yeah. All right. Um, what do you call people who are acting insane? My friends. Uh, that's two. Uh, the choices are nuts, Diamond crazy. Club. <laughs> nuts, crazy, whacked, or cray cray. Cray cray. Cray cray. How do you say something is for certain? Definitely. No. Deaf. Mm. Most deaf. Mm. Or deafs. <laughs> Probably deaths, but it's most deaf. So which one should we go with? Uh, we're going to go with the D, but I'm saying for, for our generation, it's most deaf. Most deaf. Yeah. And which, which became a definite thing when most deaf came out as an artist. Right. And started right. producing some fucking great hits of the, of the late 80s, early 90s, or do, uh, late early 90s, mid 90s. Yeah, well, and, and Curtis says uh, Cray Cray is millennial, ain't it? 
like, well, yeah, I think so. Like, I feel like we've been saying cray cray for like. 20 25 years man like that's 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 how old works though we think everything's been said forever <laughs> <laughs> most deaf <laughs> all right what do you call a guy in a gang seriously all right the choices are gangster mm-hmm. gangbanger mm-hmm. gangsta or g uh, really i mean we're going with the d with his which is g D is G. Uh, but wow, I, I hate this. Is re- this one's really, really particularly dumb because it's all the same fucking thing, depending on what age you are. Like, well, but the the context of the question is Gen Z vocabulary, right? So here's here's my thinking on it. Gangster is the first one, right? That's some twenties shit. <laughs> Gang banger is some sixties, seventies b- bullshit. Gangster or uh, uh, gangsta. gangsta is some eighties, nineties shit. So it's got to be G, but G meant something else in our day. But none of but none of these like none of these were not ever not said. Like right. you go back to like when we were kids and people said all four of these things. So I don't right. Know. I mean, today, like, I've, I've been saying like, what up G. Longer than fucking, than Gen Z has been alive. So Curtis asked who wrote this. It's it's from HowStuffWorks.com. Jesus. Yeah. So uh, all right, we're next, we're gonna next. we're gonna need to need a new stuff you should know on this one because this is this this article is fucking old. Yeah. Well, the, it started out stronger. Like it, we're, it we're did. Now. We, yeah, we're we're definitely dredging up some bullshit now. All right, I think we've got like four or five of them left. All okay. right, so let's finish this out. Um, how do you say hello? The choices are hello, no. hi, uh-uh. hey, hmm. or haro. <sighs> Pretty sure it's haro because it's um, but it's, it's similar but, to like how you say hello. But you're saying it wrong. Oh, it's how do I say it? Haro. Like it has to drop on the second half. Got it. That's it's a tonal ooh. shift in the middle of the syllables. You have to. I think that's more of a girl, like a a female Gen Z thing. Oh like, no, I don't no, hear no, 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 no. I'm saying this from experience. That's how I say it. And <laughs> the rare chances I don't say hello to somebody, I say hello. I see. Okay. All right. What acronym? What acronym might you use for something funny? LOL. LMFAO. R O F L no K E K What the or, fuck does that even mean? Or J K S Yeah, I don't know what K E K is. I don't uh, know, I don't know what J K S is either. Yeah, I don't uh just kidding. No, that wouldn't make sense. Something funny. Yeah, I don't know. Like just kidding shit. <laughs> I don't. Uh, I don't. Are we know. going with that one? Because it's. I mean, it it is D. We've selected D every time so far. <sighs> I say we go with it just because it's D, but I like none of that fucking makes sense to me. Yeah. So everybody's saying Keck and Top Keck. Like uh, we what is... we finally found the limit of our our kids' interaction with us. <laughs> is what happened. God. Um, M Beam says it's a wow reference and uh, I think Curtis agrees. So that's all right. Oh wow. no, that's okay. Well <laughs> Curtis said yeah, it's a wow reference, so not the right answer. <laughs> so what would you wear to bed? Choices are pajamas, nope. sweatpants, nothing, or a onesie. I, I feel like onesie is g- a Gen Z thing. This one hurts. <laughs> I I don't know how to say this without sounding like a complete dick, so I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna stay on brand and stay on brand and sound like a complete dick. Onesies are dumb as outer garments. I don't like them. I think they're stupid. On the occasion, you could wear one and get away with it. If it's a cosplay, if it's certain type of party, but just wearing them out and about, it's not. It's it's. 
I just don't, it's not a fashion style I agree with. But wearing a onesie to bed, fuck off. Talk about <laughs> sweating your balls off. Even you, you can't even kick a foot out and cool off in the middle of the night. You're just fucking stuck. No, it's dumb. That's the answer, D. But if the question is framed wrong. And if you're doing this, like, at least be getting a goddamn shower when you get up in the morning. Because fucking this sweaty This reminds me when I was like five years old wearing Superman underoos. Right. That were, uh, it was a onesie, basically. Yeah. Well, it was a twosie. No, 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 no. It's all one piece with the zipper. Oh, no, I didn't have that. I, I, I must have the cheap knockoff ones that were two pieces. Hmm. Didn't have yeah. a zipper. Had it slit right down the middle, like all the way around. <laughs> <laughs> 360 degrees. Yeah, slit. yeah. Like it, it almost looked like a pair of pants and a shirt, but it was a onesie. <laughs> right. What is probs? P R O B S. Uh, likelihood. Okay. Uh, the choices are a disease, no. a band, a way of saying maybe, or a way of saying probably. Oh my God, this one's done. It's a way of saying probably. Yeah, we're, we're getting into the shit now. All right, what is a QT? Like the letters QT. Quick time. A measurement, no. a type of call, no. a type of dance, or a way to say cutie? A way to say cutie. Yeah, okay. Uh, I'm so not what in love does, with current generation. What does random mean random is the word that my neighbor's daughter says at adult parties constantly hmm um what would like give me an example what would what would cause her to say that like i'll get a drink and she'll walk in the door and then someone will say hi and she'll be like Random. Why is he drinking? Wow. Yeah, okay. no, it, it's fucking it's 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 off. Sounds terrible. Yeah. It's it's bad. Okay, so our choices are There's a lot of details missing in that one, but essentially you get how stupid it was. <laughs> something not normal, something unexpected, something odd, or it could mean anything. It could literally mean anything. Okay. <laughs> How often do you say YOLO? YOLO or yellow? YOLO. Y-O-L-O. I said it on this podcast just now. So our choice, uh, this one doesn't even make sense. Our choices are never, very rarely, constantly, not often. Like, All right, I'm that? done. Whatever the submit button is, hit it. We're just going to fucking call it a day because this has just gone off. We're jumping the shark at this point. Yep, we've, we've only got two left, so we're going to oh, hit them real quick. damn it. What do Go. you say when something good happens? You say, yay, cool, awesome, win. Win. Okay, and finally, you don't want to hang with your friends anymore because he is acting awful. Uh, what is he? Choices are a bad friend, passe, lame, or canceled. Canceled? Yep, Okay. That one's actually legit. That's probably the best question we had in the second half. Right. Yeah. To- yeah. Totes. Or uh, no, what was it? Most deaf. Most deaf. <laughs> All right. So we got 15. Correct. I don't even know how many questions we had. Like 45 or some shit. Uh, and it doesn't even show us which ones we got right. I... Does it at least show you how many there were? No. <laughs> Not numbered. This quiz was stupid. <laughs> Put it in show notes, but don't take it. Hit, 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 hit your buzzer. Can't even find his buzzer. I don't know. I gave us the cartoon <laughs> failure. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, I think that quiz gave us the D. <laughs> <laughs> that was terrible. That, was, that started out okay and quickly went, de- went to shit in the second half. Yeah. Like the back nine was junk. That was awful. Um, so anyway, so we're parents of some Gen Z <laughs> kids. Yeah. Um, I'm in the midst of teaching my second child how to drive. That's fun. No. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's, why, it's why parents die so soon. <laughs> we used to live a lot longer before there were cars. 
Yeah, I'm 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 actually I I, I kind of enjoy teaching um, manual transmission. That's mm. kind of fun because they start out with with an automatic, right? So you mm. you know you just basically learn how the machine moves and you know like uh, laws of the road. Uh, but then you take them to an, a very big empty parking lot and put them in a manual transmission. So I put I put Isaac in the tra- in the um, uh, Mustang, Mustang this weekend, and um, it took him I think about five tries to get it started. <laughs> so that's cool. <laughs> wait, wait, wait! Do you mean like to turn the engine over and get it started, or to like get it yes. moving? Well, okay. Uh, about five times to get the engine on. And then uh, probably about another half dozen times of, of uh, killing it, just trying to get it to move. There, there's no saving that, dude. If you can't even start the engine, there's no saving that. The <laughs> um, yeah, uh, M-Beam says uh, rip clutch. Uh, I've well, got a pretty robust clutch on the Mustang. I'm not worried about that. He's not going to tear it up. Uh, I would be worried if we were driving forward and he threw it in reverse or if he went from like fifth to first or something like that. That would be bad. If you were driving forward and you threw it in reverse while you were driving and then dropped the clutch, there's there are things that have gone wrong before that it's possible. Right. There are safety yep. features in the car. I'm not saying they work. I'm saying that they're there. Yeah, well, well, Curtis says it's 2020 and we have YouTube. Yeah, I probably should have been filming, uh, but I was too busy like clutching the. Uh, I I <laughs> the I, t- I took that as oh yeah he, he I mean it, it wouldn't give the same feel but he could learn about it in, on YouTube, and Curtis and you took it as in like oh yeah I should have filmed that shit and shown everybody. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, oh, <man. laughs> oh my gosh! Holy shit! Uh, yeah, I, I like driving stick. Um, Isaac asked me, he was like, why? Like, why would you do this? Why would you have stick? So I spent probably like 10 minutes explaining to him why stick is better. <laughs> it, so if you were to give it one, I'll, I'll give you three words to explain why stick is better than automatic. Three words? Three words. Way more control. There you go. I was going to say, I could do it in one. Control. Right. <laughs> yep. And 90% of the time, 95% of the time, you don't need that much control. But when you need it, it's nice to have it. Just like me having four-wheel drive. 90% of the time, I don't need it. Like, it's pointless right. in having. But when yeah. I need it, I can't do without it. Yeah, and it's a lot more fun. Like, it's ass to drive an automatic. Like, it's not fun. Like, there's nothing good about driving Period. I'm ending my sentence right there. <laughs> uh, but if you're driving a stick, like at least you can make it fun if you want it to be fun. It's you at need least interactive. Yes, exactly. And like you can do cool shit at stoplights <laughs> that you can't do in an automatic. I, I just like that. Okay, so in an automatic, when you go and you flip it in, like if you're in gear. And you're at a stoplight, or you're driving in traffic. Just, just go driving in traffic for the for the better scenario. You're driving along, and you suddenly need to go from 50 to 80. You mm-hmm. punch the gas, and within one to three seconds, your car catches up to what you want to do, and it takes off. In a stick shift, your car understands what you want to do at the flick of a wrist. Yeah, you drop it down to third, and punch the gas. Yeah, you're going. And, you accelerate. Very quickly. D- depending on, on how your transmission is, it's literally a flick. You don't even have to hit the clutch. You just mm. pop the gear down and let the engine fucking do what it does. Yeah, no. In the Mustang, I definitely use the clutch. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not just, I'm not ripping that, uh, you know, in, in the gear. Like, that's, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> you just got to make sure you pound the, pound the floor when you do it so you don't stall the engine. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, do, do you do you clutch it on normal shifting? Yes. Yeah. Do you clutch it on powerless shifting? Um, I mean, usually I I don't power shift that much. Yeah. Like I, um, 
I don't know. Like if I'm if I'm like taking off from the line, like I need to be somewhere right fucking now, and I need to be at you know seventy miles an hour in yeah. three seconds. Like, yeah, maybe, but I'm. Mm. I used to power shift my fucking uh, uh, contour. <laughs> I had a five speed contour, and I used to power shift that fucking thing. Well, that I mean, you want to see my- you want to see a four cylinder go. <laughs> I can get it going. <laughs> a four cylinder full size car? Yeah. Jesus. Yeah, and, and the gears were lined up just just right for popping it from uh from fifth to third. So like if I was going and I just needed to go now, I could just fucking just hammer down. Let it go. Yeah. So, it so Curtis is asking about about going uphill. Um I I don't think I don't think going uphill is even any kind of a challenge in you got to be at a dead stop and it's got to be a steep hill for it to even be a consideration for people that are fluent in stick shift right right the only time it's it really sucks is if you're in traffic like stop go traffic yeah like go for two seconds and then you stop yeah well even then there's there's a sweet speed depending on your car where if traffic is going just right you can literally just glide through just by clutch pressure and also, never even slow down. <laughs> also depends on again how steep the hill is because if you're at like you know a thirty degree incline or something, that's probably not going to work like from zero to to five or whatever. How did you teach Isaac how to clutch? Because you have a ramped driveway, you have the perfect driveway to teach him how to clutch. Uh, no, I took him to the fairgrounds parking lot that was empty. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's not how I learned. Hmm. I, I learned well I wasn't a driveway but it was a it was a, a, a parking lot that had an up ramp to another parking lot mm. yep I, I learned that way where you where you sit at the bottom stopped and then you let the clutch out until it, it starts creeping up and then you got to sit there and and using only the clutch hold it in place mm. and drop it down hold it in place raise it up hold it in place then right after That's- that we went to Columbia and we were on a hill and somebody came up right to my bumper and I was freaked the hell out, and Bill said, "Ah, just hit the gas and let go of the clutch." It was a Plymouth Duster, Jesus. so it went, and that was it. And we just took off. Wow! So I initially learned how to drive clutch on a Chevy S10. You remember the right. remember the old teal turd? Yep. Uh, and I learned in the Lemon Lot parking lot on. Eglin Air Force Base. The day you bought it. Well, no, no, no. Probably about a week before, I, I got a crash course on how to do it. Um, but I had to drive it downtown to the DMV to get the plates, and um, w- which was no problem. I did okay. Uh, but going from the parking lot of the DMV back to the street was like a 40-something degree incline. And... I had to go into to lunchtime traffic, and oh my god! Oh, and I was turning left, by the way. Um, that was frightening. I killed the engine probably six or seven times. Had somebody behind me laughing at me the entire time. I don't know what's worse: someone like honking the horn and shaking their fist, or someone laughing hysterically. I don't know which one's. I don't know. They're both bad. Um, um... Either way. They're... And I finally got it onto the road, but I squealed the tires the whole way onto the road. <laughs> I get to the base, and when I stop to show my ID at the gate, uh, promptly killed the engine. And it took me about two times to, to get it going again. And the whole time, the cop is just looking at me like, you fucking idiot. <laughs> yep. <sighs> yeah. Um, my... Uh... Badweave is asking what is what we think about paddle shifters. I've never used a manual transmission paddle shifter. Same. I've used um, automatic. Like, the, like my truck or my, uh, my 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 wife's Jeep has paddle shifters, but it's an automatic, and I never fucking use them. Yeah, I I like the concept, the idea of it, uh, but yeah, I've I've never used it, so can't really comment. Nope, never um, been, never been in a position asks, to use them. Curtis asked about city stoplight traffic. Uh, not in Alamogordo. 
That is one gigantic positive thing about Alma. You, you, you have four stoplights. <laughs> That's probably and, pretty and, close. And they're spread out over two miles. <laughs> um, yeah, no, there's there's probably, all in all in the, in the city, there's probably 15 or 20 stoplights, really. Okay. Well, the main strip, there's like four. And yeah, yeah. You, you have to go on side roads to see the others. <laughs> yeah, and it's most of the roads are three lanes. Well, yep. six total, right? Right, three, three by lanes three. One direction, and um, there's not enough cars really to support that size of a road. So no, it's like they built the town expecting it to be huge, and it just never did. Right. Inst- yep. Instead, they buried fucking ET games there. Yes. And said, "Oh, can't move on that side of the tracks. Everybody, stay over here because that side's got ET games buried in it." <laughs> Uh, yes. Um, look that up. If you guys don't know about the Alamogordo burial of Atari E.T., the extra treasure. You could just stop at Atari. The Alamogordo, Alamogordo burial of Atari. Right. Yeah. 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 Literally. Uh, E.T. is the famous one, but they, they buried all kinds of games. And, and the company was essentially dead after that until it was revived 15 years later. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. If you guys don't know about that. Uh, just check it out. Just Google it. Uh, you'll learn all kinds of shit about it. There's a there's a documentary. There's at least one documentary out there. I'm pretty sure it's on Amazon Prime. There's at least one 99 PI episode specifically about it. Yes, very recently. It was like two weeks ago, I think. Yep. And uh, that was pretty cool. You'll get to hear him say Alamogordo, New Mexico. Uh, it's like <laughs> towards the end, though, because in the beginning it just a barren spot of New Mexico, and then towards yep. the end it actually says it's in Alamogordo. As they were reintroducing the file footage, I pay attention to these things. Yeah, of course. Um, but yeah, one of my favorite podcasts of all time. I've only listened to two podcasts. I mean, it's straight up, only listened to two podcasts in the last month: Ninety Nine PI and the Unmade Podcast. Mm. Two because of my those both of those shows are near and dear to my heart. <laughs> I only had to listen to two. I, that those are probably I, the. I, you know what kills me about this? I told you to listen to 99PI like a long fucking time ago, and you're, you're like, ah. And then I tried to tell you again that when, when the, the Vexo, Vexillology episode came out, I tried to tell you again to check it out. It's a TED Talk. You're like, I've already seen the TED Talk. And then finally, the last time I was like, dude, no, really, you got to listen to this fucking episode. And you're like, yeah, dude, I've been listening to that show for a while now. I'm like, fuck you, man. <laughs> and then the unmade podcast i was like dude like i know you hate cgp gray and his all his, his logical nonsense whatever else but well, th- brady th- Horan, thankfully for everybody um cgp gray is not on the unmade podcast right it's it's brady and his old buddy tim and that that podcast even my kids laugh at that and they don't like podcasts in general oh it's so good it's and you so don't even have to know funny. what they're talking about you can just listen to any just random five minute clip yep. of that show, and my God, it is so good. And some of the best ad reads, even though I still skip them, some of the best ad reads in the industry. Like if if if, if I can't like skip if I'm not wearing my watch and I don't want to grab my phone because I'm driving or whatever, and I have to listen to a pod read or an, an ad read, that's the pod I want to listen to it on. Oh, totally. yeah, it, I don't. They're totally. they're like the old night attack night attack ads. Except not raunchy. Yeah, yeah, they're like they're like the PG versions of those, right? Right. And, right. and so yeah, it's it's. Well, I guess that wouldn't be Night Attack. They'd be NSFW. They're like the old NSFW ads. <laughs> right. Yeah. 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 Um. Uh, yeah. So podcast, we like them. <laughs> all right. Them. Hey, dude. It's uh, it's about time for me to wrap things up and get the fuck out of here. So uh, if you're listening to this, then know that there are two episodes that have not been released. I will try to get them released for uh, everyone. I am probably going to pause March's payment for the Patreon because I've been underperforming this month. Um, Because I don't feel like taking people's money next month when I haven't gotten the shit done this month that I needed to do because of various, many reasons, mostly my fault, but for many reasons. Um, but all that being said, we really appreciate you being here and come by to watch the show. Uh, a lot of you stuck around after the raid and that's awesome. So thanks for goofing off with this. We do podcast live every Thursday. Well, almost every Thursday, usually around 10%, 10, 10 PM Eastern shit. I got all the words mixed up on that one. And, uh, Kent, you, you can be found on Twitter at RM underscore Del Noche. 
correct. Um, if you don't like Twitter, Del Noche or Del Noche 77 on most other platforms. And I can be found on Twitter by at uh, Ethan Kane, E T H A N C A I N E, or Ethan Kane 77 if I'm not Ethan Kane. <laughs> or you can find the show at Ritual Misery. Yeah, and it's it's not anywhere else. It's on Facebook, but nobody goes there because Facebook is dumb. <laughs> I'm anti Facebook. Kent just doesn't like it. So together, yep. You know. Um, and thank you for listening, watching, uh, all that other stuff. Go to ritualmisery.com for uh full episode. Tra- no, there's no full episode transcripts. We don't. We uh, no, no. Fuck no. Uh, could you imagine someone trying to transcribe this episode or any any of our episodes for that matter? So there's a bot out there that that does it automatically. I found it. Yeah. And did you run it? it? Doesn't do a good job. It's bad. <laughs> it's bad. It might be fun to read those. Actually, we might read one online or uh, on the show. Yeah. Um, like just like just pick like a, I don't know, just like a, a two paragraph stint or something like that. And we just read it. Uh, and, and oh, you know, oh, I, I know, ideas are forming. So we read it. And every time it says different person, we just read that, even if it's not the the other person talking. <laughs> so we just keep so the conversation keeps coming from different oh yeah, that's good. I like that a lot. Yeah, we'll have to we'll have to track that down. It's read, one of those things like but, you get the first one for free, but then it asks you to pay. It's just like USA Today or something like that. Right. Uh Bad Weave says reading the transcript of this show would be like staring into the mouth of madness. <laughs> not wrong. Uh, I think you're looking at the wrong end of madness for this show, but uh, look! Look at the end of that uh, of that uh, 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 production chain. Um, it's about time to hit the button, isn't it? Did I forget yeah. anything? Did we cover all the stuff in the outro? Uh, well, uh, we we also want to thank Kevin McLeod for allowing us to use the music that you should be starting to hear right about now. Well, that's that, it's reading that is my cue to hit the hit the button. Yeah. Um, dot com for yeah. all of your podcast music needs. Yeah. Uh, also, um, thank you. For Kent, for me, and for you, this has been your Ritual Misery Podcast. See ya. All right. Uh, yes, Jackie. Oh, I'm supposed to hit the hit the hit the thing. Uh, I don't have the. Where's the um, I'm we're totally leaving this in. Uh, <laughs> there, 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 I found it. Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this broker. <laughs> <laughs>